Hello and welcome to my channel again. This time the topic is growing tall. What does it mean to grow tall? Well, in Europa Universis 4, I think it means that you don't grab so many provinces. Instead, you develop the ones you have higher. Uh, playing wide and tall leads to very different types of games. Playing tall usually is more peaceful and playing wide means more conquering land and more wars. I, did, I decided to take my example game in an isolated area in Madagascar and I chose Sakalava as my nation. Um, and my goal is to play a tall isolated game and mostly in peace and to see how mighty is it possible to get peacefully. But before um, starting to develop my provinces, my first goal will be to conquer the whole island. And after that, defend that island and develop it. So, let's jump into the end of the game and see how well it went. Before looking at how it went, Let's have a short look. How do you develop your provinces? You get monarch points, administrative, diplomatic and military power from several sources, including your current ruler, your advisors, power projections, uh, etc. And you can use these monarch points to several purposes like uh, enhancing your technology, stability and uh, like that. Uh, one use is to enhance the development in your province. And you can do it by using uh, the province tab, where you can see the exact um, costs for doing it, like here. Or you can open the macro builder and the development and do it from this window too. And using monarch points to different developments raises the total development of your province, making it a little bit more difficult for each time to raise it. All right, it's year 1821 at the end of, end of the game. And let's see how did we manage. If we go to the country ledger and sort it by development we can see that our country is not the greatest one in the world but it is among the 20 greatest having a value of 449 and if we look at the development map mode, map mode we can see that uh, it is much much higher develop than the surrounding nations comparable to the nations in in Europe. Um, the money we are making currently is we sort it by income. So we are making 125 ducats and we are the tenth nation in the world at the moment. And the money is coming ma mainly from trade. 73 Ducats. We have trade idea and a large navy. The buildings we have in our nations are full built, so there is there are all the provinces are at least development 22, meaning that there are five buildings in every uh, province. Some of them have even more, and. Um, for example, we have manufactories in every single province and all the buildings we have are of the highest quality. Technologies we have are all kept at level 32. And the ideas, they are not kept, but we have many and um, we have been enable, able to add four policies to increase our income. One important thing to keep in mind while 
playing tall is not to forget your army. If you don't have large enough army and uh, military technology, it is guaranteed that somewhat, somebody will come and try to conquer your land. I have an army of 60,000 men, which is uh, good, especially in an isolated place, place like that. Uh, our navy is among the greatest one in the world, and our light ship, for, for example, light ship navy is third in the world, having over 130 ships. And that also explains our great trade income. And as you can note, uh, I have built a fortress in every single coastal uh, province in the country, so that it would be very, very hard for somebody to attack this country. This run was not optimal, so I tried to make it quickly within one day, uh, and I didn't use all the tools available. For example, I did not use estates. They would easily have given me at least 100 monarch, monarch points every 20 years. And I didn't use power pro projection as, as well. Having rivals and uh, waging war uh, against them would have given me uh, both power protection and money, but I did not use that. So playing tall does not always mean that you place, you are always in peace. It's a good way to uh, have power projection giving you one, mon one more monarch point in every cat category. One thing which I might do some day and try is a horde nation, because they have a feature called raising provinces, giving you monarch points. And um, what I could try is to raise surrounding nations and use the monarch points from there to build my own nation. Who knows? Anyway, I think this was this was a very interesting run. It was a short one, and someday I will do it again in Ironman mode. And um, and I think that's all this time. So thank you, everybody, and uh, see you again. Bye.